What's going on everybody? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 5 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So guys, in the last episode, we finished up the Galar Mine and all that. We came over here to Hoberry, which is this town right here, and finished up the second gym. Right now, our Pokemon consists of, we got our boy Toxel right here at level 25, Corvus Squire at level 26, Wacky level 27, and Dreadnought at level 25. Actually, off screen, I was streaming a little bit ago. Link will be in the description below if you ever want to check out my streams and all that. And we caught a bunch of different Pokemon from the wild area that we missed in uh, earlier parts and all that. So... Now that we have that second gym done, we're actually going to start heading on to the next gym, actually, because that's just how Pokemon games go. But we actually had to meet the chairman of the Pokemon League over here after we defeated the second gym. So that is exactly what we are going to do right now. We're going to head over here and talk to him. Oh, and Sony is here, too. So cool. We're going to talk to him. Jeans, let's celebrate your recent victory. Cool. Let's check it all out. After talking to Sonya and the chairman, they just congratulated us on beating the second gym and gave us TM Retaliate. But we walk outside, we got our boy Hop out here. Let's see what he has to say. Are we going to battle him or something? I don't even know, but we actually have to start making our way right of this town right here and start heading to the third gym, which is the fire gym. And we're not going to battle him right now. He's just telling us how he's going to head that way too and give us a hint on where we have to go. So if we actually start making our way down towards this way, we can see what we have up. What we got? What we got, dude? Look at this harbor. You're not going to miss it. Oh! <gasps> The elephant Pokemon. I wanted him on my team until I found out he was just steel. Like, I'm like, boy, that's all you are? Oh, but we make our way into the Galar Mine number two. And we got all these different Pokemon right here. We're going to catch them all right here. And that was a little Pokemon catch range. But we got Wimpod right here. We're going to catch him up right quick. Dang it, guys. The Wimpod actually ran away. But we got this Shellos right here. Let's go. Let's catch this Shellos right here. There's actually two forms. This is the guy one. They're blue. The girl one is actually pink. I think you got to catch them both for your Pokedex. But... I made that thing ran away. Yeah, we're gonna huck this Pokeball right here. Let's get it, dude. Trying to catch the shellos. I'm mad that that Wimpod got away. This Wimpod actually evolves into Golosopod, I think. And that thing's a beast. He's actually like a tougher Pokemon to catch because he's always running away. He's usually scared and all that. So we should try to catch him quicker. There we go. Caught that shellos right there. We're gonna keep rolling out here. Oh, what we got over here? Is this Bead? Oh, you again. Oh, we're gonna have to battle her, I think. She's always mad at us. She looks like an old lady, but I heard, I think she's younger, isn't she? I feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low level opponents. What you want? We whooped on you last time. If you want the sauce again, just say so. Yeah. You want to battle me? Dude, I'll give you the whoopers. I even have my Toxel in the first spot. He's my lowest Pokemon right here. He's first stage and he's pooping right now until he evolves. But she's gonna drop out Celosis, which is actually a very cool Pokemon. The final stage is sick too. I wish that's actually a shield exclusive. Which I wish uh, Sword actually had it. These are all effective moves. We're going to start off with an Acid. Maybe try to get a Poison off. Get it, Toxel. Get it, boy. Oh, yeah, dude. Nice little damage by him. Oh, what's you mad? You mad? Looks like you've grown a bit. Dude, I whooped on you the first time. So I don't know what more you want. But he's going to use Psy Shock right here. Oh! Bro, whooped on me! <laughs> Dang, dude. That whooped on my Toxel. Like I was saying, dude, my Toxel is my, uh, my weak little boy. But we're going to send out my Dreadnought. Who's going to give it a nice little clap and bite down on this Solosis. Day night night. What we got? Bite super effective. This thing's dead, dude. Once your Trudel evolves into this Dreadnought, it just murks on things. Like, it's so much stronger and so much better, dude. I love it. I love Dreadnought. But I actually saw, um, like a fan creation of the, what the second stage of Dreadnought should have been. It should have been like Dread Bite. It looked actually cool, and I was actually a big fan of it. But we're gonna keep Dreadnought out here. He's gonna probably finish up this battle real quick. Just three other Pokemon's got Vita. What do we got here? Bite super effective again, dude. That's night night. <laughs> Yeet. First stage. Murked on dead. One hit KO there. And what's her last Pokemon? I forgot. She actually should have took Score Bunny. That should have how it That's how it should have went. She should have came in here and took Score Bunny. We could have had like two little rival things going out. I had Tenno. We're gonna keep out because I believe Bite will also be super effective to this, right? Is this like fairy? So dark should be super effective. Yep. <laughs> Dude, my Dreadnought just murks on all these Pokemon. Oh my lord, dude, get out of here. Bye-bye, Bead. You're dead. Murked on him. Just murk. Oh, we should have sent our, th our Thwacky. We would have got double payment here, which is nice. Oh, no, she still has a Ponyta. Um, we're just going to keep Dreadnought out. We have Water Gun. <gasps> is this Galarian Ponyta? Oh, I, I didn't get to see it yet. Show it. Oh! Oh! Dude, Galarian Ponyta. Looks phenomenal. Let's get this water gun going. Oh, it's not fire anymore. Dude, our bite will be super effective to it. Dang it, we're dumb. 
I was thinking Ponyta's fire and all that. I was just like, we're gonna water gun it. But our bite should be super effective because isn't it psychic and fairy? I believe it is. Confusion. Don't confuse us. Okay, we're good. This should take it out then. Worked. <laughs> Yo, dude, my dreadnought just ran this team. Absolutely ran this team. But yeah, if we actually make it to our, what's it called? The third gym, we can catch uh, the little uh, centipede Pokemon, the fire centipede. But geez, we get some cash. We would have doubled it if we would have put a Thwacky in. But it's all good. It's all good. And now she's going to make up some random excuse to say, why we beat her and all that. Like, get out of here. But she's going to give us her lead card, which is pretty cool and nice. Now, where shall I go next to collect wishing stars? I don't know. You, you figured that out. You've been mean to me ever since we met you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's keep rolling out here. I gotta actually heal up. Oh, a Noibat and a Wimpod. I gotta get this Wimpod real quick. I gotta get this Wimpod. We're gonna hit it once and hopefully it doesn't run away. We're going with the Great Ball. We're going with the Great Ball here. Yeet that thing. Come on. There we go. Great Ball should get this thing. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, let's keep moving along in this Galar Mine too. This one's so much cool. <gasps> what was that? Wait just a minute. Something popped up over here. It was like a barnacle. It was one of those uh, barnacle Pokemon. But we got this trainer battle right here. We're going to whoop him up. I'm guessing we'll see that barnacle Pokemon later on. He popped up for like a split second. It might have been behind my camera. But it was literally like he popped up and then he was gone. It was crazy. But who's he going to send out? He's going to send out Charcoal right here. And maybe our, can our Acid Dude work, work on him? If not, we're just going to send out our Dreadnought. Our Dreadnought can whoop on him. Let's see. Acid? Actually, we do not know. I'm just going to switch out the Dreadnought, save some time. Dreadnought, get out there, big dog. But we're versing all Rock Pokemon, so our Dreadnought, well, this is Rock and Fire. So our Dreadnought will actually do work in here with this Water Gun. But I think I have a, what's it called? A new Water move. Like a TM that I should give him. But Dreadnought's going to level up after this battle. We're just going to Water Gun him. Give him the works. I think it should bring him down to pass health here. There we go, pass half right there. There we go. Steam engine. What's that do? When he gets hit, his attack raises? Speed raise. Dra drastically, it says. Jeez, he's gonna rapid spin on us. Not very effective. We chillin', dude. Our Pokemon are a lot stronger now. Let's go. He's gonna use Smackdown. He gets first hit now since his speed is higher. But that's all good. That's all good. We're gonna water gun him and finish him off there. Get some good XP because he's a second stage. So we'll level up a lot. But I was actually doing raids and stuff off camera and in, in the wild area. So we got a lot of XP candy. I can actually level up my team a poop ton if I actually wanted to. But we're going to be chilling out. We'll save that for another time when we actually need it. Or if we catch, like, the Santa Scorch today, we'll be able to uh, level them up real quick. Let's go grab ourselves this Pokeball right here. We got three Dust Balls. These are good for catching Pokemon in caves. Now we're just going to keep moving on here. There's a little fishing area, but I think we're good with the fishing stuff. We got a trainer right here. What do we got over here? I'm a fish right here. There's a Gastrodon in that water over there. You see him? See him over in the right corner? <laughs> That's so cool. Let's see what we can catch. That's actually the second stage of a uh, Shellos that we call it. The little slug, the blue slug Pokemon. What we got here? Ooh, a Barber Roach. We don't have one of these. Let's catch this bad boy. Get in here, man. Get in here, Barber Roach. Let's go. One. We should catch him easily. I think he's just an easy catchable Pokemon. Don't pop. Okay, there we go. Nice little catch there. Let's keep moving down to this trainer right here. Oh, I should just start it off with my Dreadnought, but it's fine. Our Tox, our Tox will get a little bit more XP. Once that thing evolves, I heard it's an absolute beast. It learned some awesome electric moves. Because it hasn't learned a move yet since I had it. So I think we got to wait until it evolves and starts learning moves. We got Toxel right here. Can we just acid this bad boy? I think we could just acid this thing. No, everything's not very effective. Except for our, uh, what's it called? Our uh, electric move. But it's fine. We'll just go out there with Dreadnought. He can just run things real quick for us. Make things easier. But yeah, we're going to be uh, doing this cave. Doing a new route. And then we're going to be making our way to the third gym. Which is actually back at Motor Stoke. Is it is where we actually register for gym battles, which is nice. We're just gonna do a little bit of water move. I don't get why water super affected the rocks. I never really got that, but it kind of makes sense. Well, I don't know if it makes sense actually. Same thing with grass, but it's cool. I like it. Our core squire is gonna level up. Beautiful core squire, my man. We got timber. Timber's dead, dude. We got Merkle on this thing, dude. Imagine if Dreadnought had a third stage where he was like even a bigger turtle. That would've been awesome. I think it's not very effective, but our headbutt will do work. Look at this. Yay. Built, dude. Headbutt this mean damage. She's gonna low kick us. Dang. Oh! Timber! Why'd you have to do me dirty like that? Jeez, man. Timber just did us dirty. Get out there, Corvus Squire. Oh, I should have sent out my Thwacky. Get the double cash. Get the double cash. We're gonna actually give our lucky, uh, or luck incense to actually, uh, Dreadnought in a little bit. 
So our, uh, when we do the gym battle, we can get a lot more cash because we're probably just going to be rolling out with Dreadnought instead of uh, Thwacky because it's a fire gym. We can just Merc on it. We're just chilling. We're chilling. Let's go. Anyone leveling up? Oh, yeah. Tox will get the level. I think he evolves on level 30. It's just a unit after that. <laughs> so go grab that 2,000 cash. We get moving along now. All right. Let's keep grooving along here. We got this Pokeball. This Pokeball with a Grip Claw. That is awesome. That's nice. Nice little holder item right there. Keep moving along here. Any new Pokemon? Oh, no. We got these punks again. Team Yell just chilling here. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Yeah, man. What you, what you want? Creaky, but that's really something. I love the, I love a battle against a trainer like you. What's up? I'll battle you right here. Oh, but Hop comes in. Let's go, dude. Let's do a double battle. How about that? I'll give you the quick smackings. Me and my boy Hop right here. Do you fools want? Huh? Huh? But yeah, I saw the uh, the Barnacle Pokemon, so we gotta find him in this cave too. But are we gonna battle or what? I'm ready for this. They're just talking and talking. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're rolling out here. Double battle right here. Double battle. Let's get it. They both have two Pokemon. Oh, a little Thievil and a Zigzagoon. Or second stage of the Zigzagoon, a Linoon. Larry Linoon. He sent out his Wooloo, dude. All right. We got effective, effective. We're going to go acid over on... Oh, it hits them both. It hits them both, dude. I'll take that. Lightning's going to use Night Slash on the Wooloo. Oh, jeez. He whooped on your Wooloo. He's going to snarl us or both of us. Jeez, dude. That Wooloo's going downtown. What that actually are? Oh, special attack fell. And this is a special attack move, which stinks. This isn't going to do too much damage. But what raises our speed, right? Yeah, our speed raises for next turn. That'll be nice. We're going to acid up here. Boop, boop, boop. Hit them both. Do like nothing now that our special attack is dropped. Double kicking. Boom. Oh, yes, Wooloo. Yes, Wooloo. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's switch out. We're probably going to switch out our Pokemon real quick. Actually, no, we're not. Actually, yes, we are. We're going to switch out to our uh, to Wacky real quick. We're going to get some more cash because I spent a lot of it off screen. <laughs> but yes, let's get our Thwacky out here and do some work on this Thievil. Because this Wooloo is just going to finish off the, the what's it called? The Linoon. Snarling us. Both of us. You hunk of junk. No, Wooloo's dead! What's your problem? Wooloo, our special attack's gonna fall pretty harshly. We're gonna double hit this guy for a physical move. So we don't have to use our special attack. But he's gonna bring out his Corviscuire, dude. I saw a Corviknight in the wild. It was beautiful. It was huge. It was absolutely... It was really cool. But we're gonna double hit this evil right here. And hopefully his Corviscuire can take out that Linoon. We can get grooving along. Let's go. Wham! Wham! Corvus Squire, you decide who you're taking out. Let me know. He's gonna lick somebody. Ew! He licked us. He licked our Thwacky. Corvus Squire's gonna pluck on that line and probably take him out. Take him out. Yes, sir. Okay, there goes that line. We're gonna get some good XP for these Pokemon because they're evolution Pokemon. And you get more XP for them. Let's see. Oh, like I said, dude. 500 something for a Tox. So that's nice. He's gonna send out Pancham. You better use a flying move against that. And I'll finish off this Thievul with this double hit right here. Let's see what we got. Double hit. See you later, Thievul. You're dead. Bill, Bill. I like that look at that. It's fox, but it's only dark. If it, if it was like a fire fox, that would be cool. Let's go. How much XP? Wacky. Oh, almost leveled up. We got that dumb whooper leveling up down there. <laughs> Course Crash got plucked. This could one hit it. This could. Nope. We're going to leave that uh, oh, circle throw. What's that? Oh, he's coming after me. Why are you coming after me? Oh, it switches our Pokemon out. Who are you bringing out? Our Corva Squire. Double Corva Squire. That's actually a cool move. You get a hit, and you get to switch out a random switch for them. I'm gonna throw out Live Perd right here. Which I'm just gonna pluck it up. I don't want to super affect that. We'll have him finish off that, because our move's gonna hit harder. Because our Cobra Squire's a little bit leveled up more. Built, built. Oh, nice hit! Nice hit. There we go. Pluck. Either way, someone's dying here. There goes that Pan Cham down the drain. Our Thwacky's actually gonna level up, which is gonna be nice. And maybe someone else might level up. Let's see. Yeah, Thwacky will. That's about it right here. And then we're going to get some mean XP for this poor Loing right here. Or no, this live Poor Poorling's the first stage. We're going to pluck it up. Finish off this Team Yell battle right here. And then we can get moving along. What move was that? Rage? I didn't even get to read it. That was Torment. Okay. That's fine. Boop, boop. See you later. Let's go. Team Yell done. We're going to get some mean cash. And then we can move on and actually catch some other cool new Pokemans. Let's get it. You defeated Team Yell and Team Grunt. Of course we did. We're the best. We're the best. How much cash are you giving us? <laughs> 7,000. That luck incense is insane. This is doubling our Pokemon money. 
Let's go. Get out of here, Team Yellow. I'm sick of you guys always coming in here. I got places to be. I got places to be. Let's get it. See you later, Hop. Thank you for battling with us. Any new Pokemon? Dude, there's a Dreadnought just chilling here. Jeez. Absolute unit. You need that. Oh, a Scraggy. A Scraggy, dude. Let's go. I want to catch him. But, dude, my friend was so hyped that I could get a Scraggy on his team. And then I found out it's sword exclusive. And he was so mad. We're going to ask it, this boy. What type is he? I think he's fighting. He's going to actually protect. Yo, get in here, Scraggy. I actually wasn't expecting to find a Scraggy here, which is pretty cool. So hopefully we can catch him right here. Come on. Come on, Scrags. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Get that boy in our Pokedex. We are pushing 100 Pokemon caught, which is just awesome. All right, let's keep moving along here. We got this water right here. There's a Noibat. We actually already have a Noibat. We got a trainer over here. Let's check out what's to the left side right now. Okay, we got this little shiny thing. <gasps> what is that on the ground? What is that? You see that thing? Let's step on it. Oh, let's get it. What is this thing? I forget what they're called. A stunk fish. A stunk fisk? That's what they're called. They're like round in water. They're such a cool little Pokemon. Look, they have little footprints on them, which is hilarious. We're going to acid him because I think, I think he's ground. Dude, he's sucker punches. We're dead, aren't we? Jeez. Yo, guys, this Pokemon is an absolute tank. Its defense is through the roof, and it's just been slapping on us. It's been dealing some mean damage. Hopefully, we catch it here. We got it down to the red, and we're using a great ball. And there we go. Let's keep rolling out here. We got this Scraggy. Yo, this thing's chasing me. Leave me alone, Scraggy. <laughs> thing's coming after me. Oh, sick. This is what I saw earlier. This little guy right here. I just saw him spawn in the corner. So, we're going to catch this bad boy. Dude, this thing looks hilarious. <laughs> It's binnacle. It's like a little piece of barnacle. He looks so funny. He looks like two little hands. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Click that thing and let's go. Let's keep moving along here. This Drenol's eyeing us down, dude. I'm scared of that thing. That thing will probably whoop us. But we got this trainer right here. Does he want the sauce right here? We got our Drenol in the top spot. So anything we're kind of just going to be murking on. What's he going to drop? Unless he drops a Drenol. A Drill Burr. Drill Burr. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure water is super effective to it. So we're just going to murk it because I, I think it's just a ground type right now. Then it evolves into ground and steel. Let's go. Yeah, water is super effective. We're just going to whoop on it. <laughs> this could one hit. I would like a better water move with him, though. Because, see, water gun doesn't hit too hard. But if we had, like, um, what's a good water move? Maybe, like, waterfall or surf muddy water would be nice. Something along those lines. Liquidation's nice, too. But we do not. Oh, he's going to dig. He burrowed his way. That hunk of junk. This is actually going to be super effective to us. So we're just going to take this hit from this drill burr. I don't think it should deal too much damage. Maybe 20 at the most. All right, let's see. We're at 57 health. Let's see how much damage it says. I'm going to say 20. Jeez. <laughs> I lied, dude. Push it 30. It was 36, I think, to be exact. But there we go. We can take out this drill burr right here. That thing murked on us. Murked on us. Anyone leveling up? Oh, yeah, dude. Dread all the level 27. Our Pokemon are pushing level 30 right now. We're crushing it. An Onyx is going to come out. I'm going to switch to my Thwacky in order to get some more cash right here. I'm just going to raise your leaf in and one tap this thing. This is actually one of the Pokemon that I saw that I haven't caught yet was an Onyx. I saw one in the beginning and I went back to catch it and I accidentally killed it with Branch Poke. I just murked on it. But we'll be able to one shot this thing, I believe, with Razor Leaf. To say night night, dude. You're dead. Yeah. See, told you. <laughs> But yeah, I'd like to bring out the Thwacky to get a double cash with this luck incense that he, he is holding. Any XP or any level up? Nope. We chillin'. Let's see how much stuff we get. How much cash we rope in. 5,000, dude. And I wasn't even gonna buy this thing. It is so worth it. What we got over here? Ooh, a TM. What kind of TM we got? Sand Tomb. That's alright. Sorry, right, I probably will never use that. Maybe once or twice. We'll see. But let's keep rolling out here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nice little fishing spot. Let's see if we got any Pokemon here. Let's see who we got. Something new? Something new? Yeet. Reel that bad boy up. What we got? What we got in there? No, Bar Brooch. We got him already. We're just going to run away from him. He stinks. Hopefully we can run away first try. That'd be nice. Let's get it. Run. That a boy, dude. Oh, we should actually heal up our Drendal. He's a little ho low health right here. But we're chilling. I don't, I don't really care too much. We'll just switch out if we have to. Oh, Hop's here. We should hit. Oh, and Team Yell. And who is this guy? It's Kabu. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of Charcoal's hard work. Okay, who is this guy? I don't even know who this guy is. I think he's an... Oh, no. He looks like the fire gym leader. Let's see. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. This guy is definitely the fire gym leader. That's Kaboo. Man, he's wicked. Yes, he is the fire gym leader, which is cool. So we're actually going to be taking on him, hopefully in this episode, because that is where we are heading towards back to Motorstoke to take on the fire gym. 
Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's saying how there's water types in this Galar mine. So he is actually training over here, which is actually a smart move to do. He's training his fire Pokemon with water so he can actually, like, see his weaknesses and all that. Look at Charcoal, dude. He had, like, little rock wheels on him, which is hilarious. All right, so now we're going to talk to Hop. Are we, when are we, we going to battle Hop again? I feel like we, we have to battle Hop again soon. Considering we saw him twice and we haven't actually battled him just yet. But what are we loading for? Are we making our way out the mine? Is that what we're doing? I wasn't even done with the mine yet. Okay, cool. We do make our way outside this mine right here. And I feel like we call it a good amount over there. So let's get this going. What's he talking about? He's talking about the fire gym. But yes, we do make our way out of the mine right here. I'm actually going to heal up my... Oh my god, you see all the knocktails that popped out? I'm going to uh, heal up my Dreadnought real quick. With a nice little super potion. And then we're going to keep rolling out here. Let's see what we got. Dude, we have these knocktails. I have a hoot hoot first stage, so I don't really want to catch them. <gasps> Studo Wudo. Is there any Bonsleys near? Pokeball. Oh, there's a new Pokemon right here. What is this thing? Oh, it disappeared on us. Do you see that? Wait, we got a Scraggy out here. That's not what I want. This is not what I want at all. We're just going to run away from him. But there's a new Pokemon. When I went to go get it, it just disappeared and tell, kind of like teleported to a different area. Let's see if we can get him. I think it was Hatina or something. Look, it's right here. See it? Let's sneak up on it. There we go. Okay, I guess we got to sneak up on it. This is what I saw right here. Yes, it's Hatena. Right here, a new Pokemon. It was actually, I think it's very strong in this game. I think it's Fairy and Psychic. What level is it, is it on? 24. Super effective bite. We're just going to rock Tomb. I'm going to try it. I got to keep it alive and catch it. Brought it down to the red. It is literally on like maybe 2 HP right here. So this Pokeball should do the job. Come on, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I was actually thinking about putting this Hatena on our team because Psychic and Fairy types are really strong. But I was just like, nah, you know, we'll save it for later. But we'll catch that bad boy and put it into our Pokedex. Oh, look at this wild encounter right here. We have a Ponyard. He's such a cool Pokemon. Second stage Bisharp is awesome looking. Oh, I want this bad boy big time. I think, hmm, I think Bite and all the other moves besides Water Gun will be not very effective because he's like a Steel type. Oh, do I hit it with another Water Gun? Do I risk it? I say we don't risk it. I say we go straight for the Pokeball. I say we go straight for this Pokeball here. Let's see, let's see. I use a Pokeball. Let's go, get in here. Get in here. Come on! Hopefully there's Bond Sleaze in here. Did we catch this thing? Yes, we did catch it. I guess we're- Or we might just have to catch just the Pseudo Wudo right now. Yo, we catching this boy. We catching Pseudo Wudo right here. I'm actually wondering how many Pokemon we will catch at the end of the main story playthrough. I'm just curious because we're pushing 100 right now. Doing really well. Come on, make this more. Let's go. Okay, let's keep rolling out here. Oh, there's a little Pokeball out here. We're going to keep rolling out here. We got a trainer up here. An Amnic coin. What is this? It doubles any prize money received if a holder joins the battle. Okay, so it's basically like that luck incense that we have. We'll probably just give it to Dreadnought, you know? <laughs> and keep two uh, double money things on people. It would, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Because we're definitely going to give it to Dreadnought when we go into the gym. For the fire gym. So we can just get a bunch of cash. going to send out a Yamper. A little Yampy. Yeah, for second stage is actually pretty cool. It's like a little, it's like a bigger dog, which is cool. Because this thing looks like kind of like a corgi or something. It's just hilarious. We're going to bite this thing. We actually, no, I was going to headbutt it, but it probably has static. So, got to watch out for that. Let's go. Bring it down to half health. And we flinch it. So, this thing's dead already. Nice. Didn't even touch us. Get him, Dreadnought. Built. Dude, that thing's bite animation is sick. It's like, oh, just eat some up, dude. Cannot wait to see what Crunch looks like. Oh, Thwacky's pushing level 30 here. Let's get it. A Swoobat. Now, we're going to keep the, uh... Dreadnought here, because we have Rock Tomb, and that'll be super effective to any flying type. We got some nice Rock moves. Let's go Rock Tomb them up. It's actually Woobat second stage, Air Cutter. That shouldn't do much. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not very effective. Get out of my face, dog. But well, this is super effective, dropping rocks on you. Bill. See you later, Swoobat. You stink. <laughs> is Zubat in this game? I haven't seen Zubat yet. I feel like Zubat's in every single other Pokemon game. But there we go. Thwacky to level 30, and he wants to learn Slam. Of course you can learn Slam. What are we going to get rid of? Oh, no. Slam or knockoff? Knockoff has 35. What's slam? 80. We're going to go with slam. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna take off double hit here and actually learn slam for Thwacky. Because I didn't want to learn knockoff because we can actually knock off items like in big battles with it. And all that. So that's actually nice. And it can uh, flinch too. So it could be like a nice starter move and all that. But there we go. Defeat this. Get 4,000 cash. We could have got 10,000 for that. If we would have uh, brought our, our Thwacky. But we're chilling now. We're just going to keep moving along down towards this route. And who we got here? We got a police officer who we are going to have to battle. He said, hello. <laughs> he, he didn't even say hello. He said, hello. We got police officer Raymond. Why can't cops in our, in Earth do this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of getting in trouble, they're just like, yo, let's have a Pokemon battle. 
<laughs> like, that would be hilarious, you know what I'm saying? They're standing around, throwing Pokemon around, they're like, yo, you want to battle on the police officer? Who wants it? We're gonna water gun this Growlithe down real quick. I'm gonna guess that that fire uh, gym leader has a Growlithe. Well, he obviously has the short coal. I'm gonna guess he has the Scent of Scorch. I'm gonna say he has a Growlithe, too. I don't think he evolved this Growlithe. No way. There we go. We can take out this Growlithe right here and actually not get a ticket from this guy because that was the deal. If I beat him in the Pokemon battle, he wouldn't give me a ticket. So we're chilling. <laughs> What's going on? Our Corphish is actually going to level up. I think it's going to evolve. No, I don't know. We'll see. Our Corphish actually did evolve. So we got crawled on inside of our Pokedex now, which is cool. I knew Cor I thought Corphish evolved on uh, level 30, which is cool. I was like, yeah, dude, let's do it. Oh, we're going against this bridge. What we got here? A genius feather. Oh, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. I, I think these feathers raise your stats and all that good stuff. Let's keep making our way over here. And we're back at Motor Stroke. We are back at Motor Stroke. And this is where the fire gym is right here. So let's go check it out. Let's go see what's inside here and see what we have to do. Burning the midnight oil, are we? If you're here for gym challenge, you won't be able to... Okay, till morning. Okay, so we have to go rest at the Badoo drop-in. That's exactly where we're going ahead. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to be taking on the gym challenge in tomorrow morning. So we're going to go stay at the Badoo drop-in for tonight and then go head over there and battle that gym challenge. And I'm actually hyped for that because we're going to get a new Pokemon in there too. Oh, we got this lady. What's her name again? She battles the gym challenges and all that. I forget her name though. It starts with an M, doesn't it? Yeah, Marnie. Okay, okay. And she remembers us and all that. But I think it's cool how the story's kind of like, instead of having a bunch of rivals going to be a champion, we have different people who aren't rivals and all that. Oh, are we battling Marnie? That's pretty cool. Okay, she challenged us to a battle. But like I was saying, we have a bunch of people who are, are trying to be the champion and multiple multiple people going after it. And we can learn like different storylines. But she has a crow gun. We're going to go with her Dreadnought right here. Bite it up and just give it a whoopings. Oh, dude, I'm jammed to this music. Not very effective, effective. Okay, we're gonna go with the headbutt. Our headbutt should do work. Get it. Get it, Dreadnought. We're actually gonna need to throw in our Thwacky at one point here because she probably pays out a boatload of cash. So if we don't. Boy! Super effective me, but if we double up that cash, I'll be nice. But this Dreadnought is gonna take out this Crow Gunk. See you later! Beep, beep, beep. Dun, 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 dun. Who's going to level up? Anyone? No, no one's going to level up. Our Corvus Squire and our Dreadnought is close. About to send out a Scraggy, which is a fighting type, isn't it? I believe it's a fighting type, so we're going to send out a Corvus Squire here and then Thwacky up the last one. Because we got Slam on our Thwacky now, so we can just end people's lives. <laughs> Corvus Squire! What you want? Scraggy? What you want? Dude, Scraggy looks cool, and then when he evolves, he looks like he has a hood on. He looks like a sick guy, dude. <laughs> he evolves into Scraggy. There we go. We're just going to pluck him. This should one-tap him. We should one tap him. He should be night night. Bill, Bill. Oh, what's he have on? He has sturdy. What do you mean? How's y'all one health? <laughs> he doesn't even have anything. We're just gonna peck him. I think peck and pluck look the same. Are they? Oh, are you kidding me? You super potioned? You really super potioned? We should have plucked. We would have probably killed him or knocked him down again. But this will not kill him. We'll bring him down past half. There we go. And then we can pluck and actually finish him off here. Let's go. Pluck him up. See you later, Scraggy. Look at Team Yell behind uh, Marty right here. Just cheering for her. <laughs> there you go. See you later, Scraggy. Let's pull out our Thwacky now and get whooping. Or who's leveling up? Corvus Squire leveled up. Let's get it. Marty's about to set up more Pekka. Who is more Pekka? I don't think I saw more Pekka, but we're just going to throw out our Thwacky here. More Pekka. I don't think we saw one yet. It might be a second stage of a Pokemon that we saw. Let's see. Get him, Thwacky. Six more levels and we evolve him. More P.E.K.K.A. Who is this? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's this little guy. <laughs> he looks hilarious. He looks like a rip-off Pikachu. Is she going to Dynamax? Oh, no. I thought she was going to Dynamax. She's going to bite. Is this thing like a dark type? It's pretty hard. Let's raise leaf it. Really? It avoided the attack? What? What did that just... What is this? It like changed forms. It's going to kill my Thwax, dude. We're going to have to switch out our Thwax. We just leave him. This thing can really change forms like that? <laughs> it went happy. Okay. We're gonna slam it and try to finish it off here. No bite. I think it's gonna take out our Thwax. No! <laughs> I risked it for the biscuit. I should have switched out. But we're actually gonna send out our um our Toxel right here to get the finishing touches on here. Because this thing is level 27. I would love to get this thing above. The bottle's level 30, I believe. Which we are chilling now. Let's take, that, let's take out this thing. We're going to ask this thing. I think we're going to need two hits. Oh, jeez. This thing might take this thing out. Oh, my bananas. Down to six. 
our speed rose, so we can actually, we have a shot at taking this thing out. We might outspeed this thing next turn. If we outspeed it here with our new uh, speed, because our speed rose right there, we can actually take it out. Let's go, Toxel. No, he used quick attack. No. And he critted, of course. That's fine. I guess Toxel will not get any XP this battle, which stinks. What's up with this thing changing forms? I don't know what that means. Well, let's just go with Quarter Squire here. This Dreadnought's going to get a ton of experience when he's battling. A nerve. You cannot eat berries. Now let's finish this thing off. Get that little pluck action. I wonder what type this thing is. I think it is dark. It has a thunder move? This thing's a beast. He's an absolute unit. And it's... Okay, that took it out. It's not very effective. What is it? I think it, it's uh, thunder and dark, maybe. That's fine. Everyone's gonna... Well, Dreadnought's gonna level up. And I don't care about the Quagsire. But there we go. We can actually finish off Marnie. How much cash are we gonna get from her? Give me all of it. 6,000. Dang! Dang, dude. Perfect, perfect. After we defeat Marnie, it just goes straight to the morning. And we can start heading to the new gym challenge. Marnie's over here. Gonna talk to us right here. Probably gonna give us our lead card, I think. Yep. Gives us our lead card. I don't really know what that does. I think it's just like when you defeat like main trainers, they give you lead cards. Oh, and she gives us two burn heals. Look at more Pekka, dude. He looks hilarious over there. He's just standing there in his uh like happy face. But dude, when he turns angry, he looks so mean right there. That's awesome. Let me actually switch. Let me give the uh, amulet coin to my dreadnought and do some other things with them. Perfect, perfect. We're now going to make our way to the fire gym right here. And I actually gave my dreadnought an amulet coin so we get double prize money. And we gave him a TR, which is a one-time TM. We gave him Scald instead of Water Gun. So it's such a better move than Water Gun. And it has a chance to burn, which is awesome. But we got our boy Hop chilling right here. He's going to talk to us about the fire badge right here. And we're going to go inside here and actually take on the fire challenge and get the fire gym badge. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. I'm ready, dude. I'm hyped. Let's go. I gotta go put on my jersey too. What's up? What's up? I like how this is where they had the gym ceremony and all that. And then we come back here and loop back around in order to get the uh, third gym. But we can actually catch a Pokemon that I want on our team, which is the Fire Centipede here. I forget his name. I know the second stage is Sent the Scorch, but I don't know what this one's called. But let's go over here and start this gym challenge, dude. Fire. And that badge right there looking thing, that little logo right there, is actually Sent the Scorch. Look at this thing, it's just a little square room. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. The gym mission for this fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear a gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass. Or two points for catching the Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you to battle. Think about what your opponents might do and try to make the best action to rack up points. Okay, so we either catch Pokemon or destroy Pokemon, which is nice. I gotta look for that Scent Scorch. Is he chilling here? I want Scent Scorch. What is that? Is this him? Is this him? It is! It's the little boy right here. Sizzle P. That's what his name is. Oh, look at this. We're gonna try to catch it. It's 2v2 right here. It's pretty nuts. It's just pretty nuts. Okay, how are we gonna go about this? I'm gonna scald it. Let's see what it does. So Landon's gonna fake it out. Wait, how did we get hit? She hit us? I hung a junk. Now we're getting hit? What do you mean? We actually might. Wait, what just happened? Oh, we flinched. Okay. We're gonna scald it right here. This might actually take it out. I'm not gonna lie. No, it did. Oh, if this sail it, it takes it out. That's cool. That's cool. Do I catch it? That's the thing. Because I kind of want a guy one. Because they have a little bit more health. We're gonna finish this off right here. Take the one point. We're gonna headbutt it real quick. Let's take it out here, and then we'll catch the next uh, sizzle peed. We'll take it out and get the one point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My buddy actually says he looks like a skateboard. He kind of does. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, but we'll get the one point there. I think we need five points to clear a gym mission. What is that over here? We have a Litwick and a sizzle peed right here. Well, we're going to catch this Litwick so we can have it on our team. Or not on our team, just in our Pokedex. We're going to take the catch right here. I'm not going to use Scald here, because I feel like this Scald will just murk on this thing. This, this guy has a sizzle peed. I think they evolve at level 30. Is that what it is? We're going to bite this uh, Litwick up. Bite it. Yeah, yeet. Oh! Okay, never mind. We're going to kill it in one hit. <laughs> we'll take another point. But geez, dude, we need five points right here. I don't know if there's like a time limit kind of thing. I have really no idea. But we got to catch a Litwick and a Sizzlepeed. Claim one point. That should be two points for me. Right? We see anything? Oh, here's another Sizzlepeed. Here's another Sizzlepeed. Show me a guy one. Show me a guy, Sizzlepeed. 
Look, he has like a little mustache. <laughs> well, let's go. He's gonna. It's the same trainer right there. Is it a guy one? No, it's a girl one again. Um, we're gonna kill it. <laughs> so is gonna use fake out on me. Why are you always fake out on me? This is kind of weird. The sizzle pea's gonna use bite. There you go. On the slant it. Take that bad boy out. Let's let's scald this thing again. Dreadnought's gonna scald it. Let's see if we can take it out one hit. Take it out. No, dude, we bring it down like one every time. Willow Wisp. Why are you burning me? What you mean, dude? The sizzle pea's gonna hit me up again, and we're gonna take it out. I want a guy sizzle pea. There's like differences. Like girls, I think they have like different stats, which are better in certain occasions. But I, but guys have more health, I believe. So I'm gonna take up. On the guy one. We're gonna headbutt this thing. Take it out. Okay, so I need the sizzle pod. We're gonna keep looking for this bad boy. But our tox will actually level up. And we're gonna actually use a burn heal real quick. One point for jeans. How many points do I have? There's a litwick over there. I'm gonna bag up here. I should have three points. That's three kills, right? Let's go over to our... Um, where's our burn heals? Yeah, I was gonna say. Marnie just gave us a few burn heals. Which we are chilling with. Okay, I need another sizzle pod. What's over here? We got Vulpixes. I don't really care for the Vulpixes. Litwicks, and I'd rather have a sizzle pod here. Come on. Spawn. 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 Nope, guess not. I think we're going to have to go on a different Pokemon first. We're going to catch this Litwick here. Note to self, do not bite the Litwick. <laughs> or use Scald. It will die in one hit. Sizzlepeed. Okay, let's go. We're going to actually uh, rock. Oh, super effective. Super. No effect. Dang, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think we're gonna go rock tomb in this thing. If we don't we don't kill it. If not, we're gonna switch Pokemon. Dude! We killed this thing again. Get it we crit it. That's why. That's why. I mean, I think we can eventually just catch this thing later. But we're gonna go for this uh the sizzle peed once again. <laughs> we're racking up points out for this gym challenge right here. Let's go. Come here, sizzle peed. He's just chilling here. If it's a girl again, I think it's just gonna always spawn a girl. That's the thing. So we'll just catch it and have it on our team. I don't really mind it. Let's go. Because I'll scald it again, and it'll probably bring it out to the same low health. No, it's a guy one, yes. We're going to scald this bad boy. Why you fake out on me? Don't you? Why? It does the same thing. I guess it's just what it does. We flinch it, couldn't move. And this thing, Sizzle Pete's going to bug bite us. We're dealing some damage to us. Our Dreadnought might go down, but we'll just heal him up in a little bit. I'm just going to bite him, actually. I don't want to take the risk of getting a crit or something and taking him out. You guys know what I'm saying? There we go. That's perfect. That's some nice health. Sand Law is going to use... Why is it always hitting us? We're gonna hope to catch it here. <laughs> Why is this sa sandal that always hitting us? Let's go. Let's get this Pokeball out right here. Come on. Give me this thing. I want it on my team. Level 25. That's solid, too. Come on. Come on. Let's go, dude. A new Pokemon to our team. Sizzlepeed right here. And we'll get two points for this challenge. I'm gonna put him right in our party so we get some levels. We're gonna take out that Quagsire. We're gonna say, see you later, Quagsire. Let's go, dude. Look how cool he is. <laughs> Fire and bug. I'm gonna add him to my party. I'm gonna add him to my party. Let's go get in here, big dog. See a Quagsire. I wonder what moves he has right off the bat. He has Struggle Bug, which is a pretty solid bug move right there. But there we go. Completed that mission right there. That's actually good that we caught him right there. And now what do we do? Check in leader, gym mission like that. You pot simply on fire. Next you'll be facing Kaboo on the leader. Okay, so we're gonna be facing the fire gym leader right here. But can we heal up our Pokemon beforehand? We can. So luckily we did catch that uh Sizzle Pete when we could. We're actually burned. We're going to have to use some potions right here. And Sizzle Pete's just going to chill in our party for right now. We're going to super potion him up twice and then give him a burn heal. So we can just own this battle. We can actually Dynamax him in this battle, which is going to be nice. But let's go take on the Fire Gym Leader. Let's go. I think uh, Sizzle Pete about level 30, I believe. into sent the Scorch. And he has a new form when you uh, Dynamax him, which is awesome. But let's get in this. Let's get after it. Oh, here he is. We're walking out at the same time. What's up, dude? Oh, he's walking out. He's like, this is my gym. <laughs> Let's go, dude. We got Scald now, so we're going to be able to whoop, especially if we're Dynamax. We're going to be whooping on him. I'm thinking he's going to have Scent the Scorch. Maybe a Litwick. Maybe. What other one did I say? I said Scent the Scorch. I forget the other fire type I had. Like, I had two in mind. Well, let's get after this. He's the fire gym leader, Kabu, right here. And he is in pursuit to stop us. Let's go. Here we go. We are challenged by gym leader Kabu right here. He has three Pokemon. He's going to send out nine tails. Oh, my lord. This guy, I think he has high level Pokemon. Hopefully, we can take him on right here. We got our Dreadnought with Scald. Luckily, I did give him Scald. And our Dynamax band is going to light up. Let's get this bread, baby. 25. That's not too bad. We'll save our Dynamax for later. 
Oh, he's gonna burn us right off the bat. You honk a junk. You honk a junk. Hopefully we can burn him with Skull. This water move actually can burn, which is nice. Bam, 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 bam. Yay. Nice damage. More than half, which is awesome. But we got a burn right here, which is, uh, It's a little tough. We're gonna finish him off here. Hopefully we get first shots. No, that Nine Tails is a lot faster than us. He's gonna fire spin us up. But dude, our Dreadnought might be pushing level 30 by the end of this. Gym battle here. Yeet. See you later, Nine Tails. You're done here. Oh, what you mean? We got him on one health? That's terrible. That is terrible. If we burn, oh my god, dude, fire spin and a burn, we're getting whooped on here. We're getting whooped on. It's actually gonna be tougher than I thought. With the fire spin and burn, that's some nice chip damage. He's gonna slowly chip us away when we have to go versus that Senta Scorch. And then who else can we throw in? Our Cooper Squire, because it's bug actually, might be able to do work on it. But look at all that XP we got right there. We're still burned. I think we'll be fine for this next Pokemon. Who is it? It's about, oh, Arcanine, jeez. Jeez, we're gonna keep battling. I'm thinking, do we uh Dynamax? Well, I'm thinking we take one hit and then we Dynamax and go in because we get three hits with the Dynamax. It's gonna intimidate and drop our uh attack. We're still gonna go for the Scald right here. Bam, bam, bam. This guy has some strong Pokemon. I was saying I was not expecting Arcanine. This guy evolved this Arcanine. We're gonna Scald him up. Yay! Mean damage right there. We're gonna Dynamax this next hit so we can actually finish him off right there and then move on to that Senta Scorch. All right, let's go. Dynamax and him. Max Geyser, it's called. Max Geyser, let's go. Because I know he's going to uh, Dynamax his next Pokemon. So we get three hits. I'm planning on taking out this one in one hit and then two hit in the next Pokemon. Look at this big dog. He's enormous. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And I get some health from it, which is nice. So that was actually kind of smart. So now we're up to 62 health. And, oh, he still gets first hit. He's gonna bite us up, but he's done, dude. Max Geyser, let's see how this looks. Boy. Boy. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Absolutely just slapped on there. And we crit it. And we crit it, which is wonderful. This started raining? Yo, so our water type moves are gonna be boosted? We might be able to one shot this guy. Let's go. Level up, level 29. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But we are burnt. He's gonna send out Senta Scorch. This is the Pokemon I want on my team. He is so dope. Just a giant fire, big bug centipede. <laughs> Look at him, he looks sick. He looks so small right now compared to uh, Dreadnought. Can we get first hit? I bet you that Senta Scorch is uh, pretty fast. Well, he's gonna uh, jack into Max. He's gonna Dynamax it up. I think this thing looks really sick when it's Dynamax. It has a Dynamax form. Ba -na 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 -na. Look at that thing. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Dynamax. Jeez. This health's gonna go up. We're gonna use Max Geyser. But he's gonna go first, I believe. Oh, what a world. oh no, we go first. Can we take him out here? No, dude, this thing has some mean health, dude. Mean health. That's super effective. What's he gonna use on us? Max Flutterby. Oh, that's a bug move. Oh, that might, that's gonna take us out. No, we survived. Oh, but the burn's gonna take us out. No! The burn's gonna take us out. Dang it. Okay, burn took us out here. We're actually gonna switch to our Corvus Squire right here. Trying to finish off this battle. Get out there, Corvus Squire. Let's go, dude. We gotta finish off this bug Pokemon right here. Jeez, dude, this thing's a unit. That's the only thing that sinks. This thing's Dynamax right now. Probably gonna run all over us. We're gonna pluck it up. Hopefully it's super effective considering he's bug. Oh, we go first too. And it is super effective, but it doesn't take him out. We need one more hit. So if we can survive this next hit by the Senta Scorch, we'll be chilling. Hopefully he uses a fire move. It'll probably look sick. G Max Senta Ferna. What? That's his signature move. Are you kidding me? That is sick. So like each Pokemon that has a Gigamax, like him, like we're just Dynamaxing our stuff and making it better. But he actually has a new form. So he gets his own signature move. But there we go. We can take out the Senta Scorch right there and finish off the Fire Gym. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Let's get it. Your Pokemon all gain XP. Except for Dreadnought. Corvus Squire did level up. And Thwacky is looking to level up. Next Pokemon we actually take out. But let's get our Gym badge. See how much cash we get, dude. Oh, he's like devastated. We like ruined his life there. Pushing 9,000 gold right there, or Poke Dollars. Let's get it. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of gym challenges, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talents surpassed my many years of experience. 
I still have much to learn. Yeah, you do. We so good out here. Let's get it. But dude, that was actually a really cool battle. I really did like the sense of scourge. And we got a sizzlepeed on our team now. So there we go. We got five of the six Pokemon that I do want on my team. And we obtained the fire badge right here. I wonder what move we're going to get. Hopefully we get like flamethrower or something. So we can give it to our sizzlepeed. Now we can catch Pokemon up to level 35. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. But there we go. Finish up that fire gym right here. We're talking to Hop. Jeans, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones. But still, that match had me right up to the edge of my seat. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Here comes the little guy over here. He's going to give us all of our rewards. Team, you did a fine job collecting the gym badges. Let's go. Please take this TM. What do we got? Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's actually pretty solid. We can burn Pokemon and all that. Will-O-Wisp is actually a really good thing. And we're going to probably get the uh, the fire uniform, right? Yep. And we get ourselves the fire uniform, which is just awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Man, dude, three gyms down already? This is awesome, dude. I'm loving this. But he says we actually have to start making our way to Hammerlock, which is where the next gym is actually going to be. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As the next episode, we're going to be moving along in this game, going to Hammerlock, and trying to go take down the fourth gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.